Hello and welcome back. So it's time to test our session class and see if it actually works. All right. So let's first go to our, because here we are not really using the session in the index page. So let me go to the init.php and here make sure you mute the session start here. That's because we want to test if it will work even if we don't start the session there. All righty. So mute that so that we can get some errors. And then let's go to our login. Let's see in the login page, are we using any of that? No, we are not. So let's go to the logout page. And right here, what we will do is let's create a new session variable. So I'm just going to say SES like that is equal to new session like so. Okay, so that's a new session class. And then now this, uh, now we have this which checks if something is set, right? So we didn't create that kind of thing. So let's go and actually do that. So I'm going to go to session class, the session class here. I can now remove this because we don't really need them. So I'm going to create a function that questions if a value actually exists. So let me uh, duplicate this one, which is get, like so. So I'm going to say exists here. So, so, so if it exists and the key is there, so we'll do the session start here and just check if is set that, then we return true here. Otherwise we return false, like so. Okay, so we are good to go there. So let's go back to the logout page. So new session here, and then we're going to replace all this code here. So if it's set user, so we are looking for user here. So all I need to do now is just do this. If session exists, user, like so. And then now, uh, here, we're going to copy this again. Oops. Instead of unset here, we're just going to say uh, remove, like so. Okay, so this is more readable now. Uh, if session exists user, then session remove user. Just like that. So we don't need this anymore. So there we go. Doing great. And then now we can go to our login page. Where is this? The classes, the user class. Let me go to the DB class and make sure I am not using any session variables here. I shouldn't be using session variables here at all. So, but just to check. So let's go to the user class. Obviously we must be using some here. And let me go to the logout just so I can copy this. Come back to my user class and let's go. So where are we using session variables? Right here. So instead of doing all this, uh, maybe session regenerate as well could be a parameter we would want to uh, add. But before we do that, let me paste what I had copied here. This regenerate will come here. Let me actually cut this. So at this point, uh, where is this? Session class, okay. So here you can put one more. So public function regenerate. So always good to do things this way because you can edit how you regenerate the session what you do in here. You can even add more code here. Maybe you want to activate something or write to the database once you uh, regenerate a session. Maybe you want to keep the old ID and so on. So this is why doing things this way is actually good. 
So let me copy this and come back to the user class. And right here, I will say session regenerate, like so. Okay, so we regenerate that. And then here we have a situation where we have multiple items that we need to add to the uh, session. So all I can do is just remove this and uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, so we have a bit of a situation here. User, 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 not really, no, we don't. So what I will do here instead is replace all this with just a, an array, like so. I'm just going to call it array like that. And then it's going to have all these names, user, email, logged in, like that. And then finally, I'm just going to say session, set, and then uh, in this case, we will need a key and a value. We want to do the key value pair. So I'm going to say user, and then the value is going to be array, like so. Okay, so we set the user, we set the array. Mm -hmm. I could have uh, put in just the array here, but the problem is this is going to put them on the top, but I want them to be inside this user variable. So that's why I'm putting it like this. But this is how we change things. As you can see here now, we don't have any session uh, text itself like we do here. So instead of checking here if this is set, we're just going to say if exists, okay? So let's do the same thing here. Let's uh, get the new session. Where are we here? He's logged in. Let's put that there. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a situation here that needs fixing. So let's go back to our session class and create uh, one more function. So as you can see here, there's this one where we add stuff to it. Mm -hmm. Now we want to create exactly this, but in our case, we want to be able to append. So I'm going to copy this whole function here and put it here and just say instead of set, we're going to say append like that. So you can add as many of these as you want, just so you abstract the important thing is to bring the functionality here and abstract it. That way, you don't have to worry about the complexities of the situation. You can uh, instead uh, worry about just sending the command, the right command here. So here, we want to be able to append to session. So let's say we have a, what situation do we have here? So here we have, is set user, we can check for that, but then email, we want to be equal to user email. Okay, so, okay, let's hold off on the append for now. Uh, what I will do is let me remove if is array. Let me leave the is array here. So let me do this. If is array, my key. So instead of my key here, I'm just going to have this as an array like that. For now, let's, oops, undo that. Let's put it that way. We're just going to have an array that will be appended the items will be appended to the uh, session. So here we'll have a for each loop. And every time we go through here, we're going to append. Actually, for now, this looks redundant. Hmm. Okay, uh, instead of wasting time here, let me hold this up for a second. I'll remove that. Sorry about the tangent there. Let's come back here for a second and finish this up. So session there, 
and I'm just going to say if is set user so we're looking for the user here so I'm going to, going to say exists like that user like so okay so if it exists then we're going to bring it back data be equal to session get user like that so we get that user so it's inside data here so email is going to be equal to email it's going to be equal to data email like that and that is good enough okay so the point is just to remove all session variables uh, accessing them directly from here so I think that actually solves the whole issue so let's give it a try just in the login page so I'm just going to refresh this and just do a simple login now the issue is I actually do not remember the credentials in my database so let me just click here for a second and let's remember that real quick a email at email.com okay so let's go with that shall we and the password enter okay so it seems we have been relocated to the home page successfully now keep in mind that we removed the session start here it doesn't exist so this has become self reliant because it starts the session on its own so we really do not need the session start here we can delete that okay 